the house in amongst those uh, golden canes with the buses now. Yeah. In 1979, I sat on those steps with my feet in the water. <laughs> All right? Yeah. Because we had an inspection. We came here by boat. Yeah. At that stage, you could have gone from Earl Hill to Innisfail, Edith Street. Yeah. All by boat. Without hopping off anywhere. Mm. You knew where to go. So, you can you imagine that was a, a 1 in 50 year flood, 79. A one in a hundred year flood, you'd have the water pretty well halfway up that house. Yeah. Which means Freebody's got to put a wall here. It's pretty it's well high. Probably, probably about here, probably about four meters high. Yeah. Okay, and then from there, probably eight meters high to block off that river. Yeah. Now, back man reckons that you can design the wall like uh, they do with the uh, the boat that goes out to the outer reef. Yeah. With, it can split the chat, split split the flow. Yeah. Wave piercer. Oh, right. it causes a, a wave flood, piercing. flood piercer. All right. He quoted that. He quoted, that. That. He quoted that. So you might have all spears out here, which basically directs the flow away. Yeah. Away to where? Well, someone else's problem. <laughs> <laughs> you reckon it is from the top of the water to the top of the bank? Probably about, I reckon about three meters, eh? So this is what those bricks are going to approve. Okay, well, this water down here is another part of the Barren River um, water system. Now, obviously when it rains heavy in the wet season, this rises. Now, what I hear is Paul Freebody is going to build a big wall to protect his theme park. And those power lines is, is the, uh, his boundary. So he's gonna build a big wall across here. Now what's gonna to happen to the bloody water that comes tearing down here in a wet season? It's gonna go somewhere else. And you could of course flood in somewhere else. We'll concentrate the flow around this wall, which will create more erosion, which will mean more sediment runoff into the Great Barrier Reef as though we haven't no, got enough already. You know, got, and the council look as though they might approve this bullshit. I mean, what's going on with this council? Well, okay, we're, uh, this is the site that Paul Freebody's, um, somebody's called it the underwater world it's gotta be. But apparently some years ago, um, the council allowed this waterway, part of the Barren River system, to be blocked off and this upset the, uh, the local farmers because it caused flooding upstream. Now to try and keep the local farmers on side, Paul Freebody's been getting his uh, uh, excavator there and digging it out. Now look at the bloody mess he's made and uh, I mean couldn't anybody do this sort of thing? This is disturbing. Uh, a water system. Um, what's council up to? What's council doing about this? Uh, it broke down. Um, I hear he's a Christian. Christian he's probably broke down you know, due to an act of God, I'd say. With my feet on that, yeah, I down. So I was getting my feet wet. Yeah. If you were to dig a hole here, when you get to that level, you've got water. It's only three meters down. Yeah. Look, look at the size of those culverts too. Yeah. Oh, this, you are. That's, those culverts are designed to cop a one in five, well, that's a one in 25 a year flood for that stream there. And they go under, big time, yeah. big time. Okay, well. <laughs> Here we are, Adventure Water Park, Waters Water Park, and there's a sign that uh, Mr. Peabody has um, put up. Oh, prosecuted for illegal dumping. Well, I didn't do any dumping, but I mean, obviously, uh, trespassing on his land. But look at the shoddy, unprofessional, amateur, cowboy, bit of bloody excavation work he's doing. And it's insane. Like, Okay, what's EPA? Doesn't the EPA have anything to say about this? Uh, Steve Wetnall, maybe um, 
maybe Steve Retinor could uh, have a look at this uh, this bit of footage and um, let us know what he thinks about it. Uh, is this okay, Steve? I don't think so. There's a lot of other people around here. So uh, over to you, Steve. Oh, what a fun tree here. Oh, that's a new game, 